and those who do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ will in fact perish in the place called hell. Folks, quit feeding your flesh with sin. Resist the sin. Resist the temptation. For the lust of the flesh and the pride of life, all of that is a sin. And it will condemn you into the place of called hell. But there is hope in Jesus Christ. By repenting from your sins and turning to Jesus Christ through the born again experience. Put some clothes on, miss. Jesus said that the adulterers and the fornicators and the sexually immoral will not inherit the kingdom of God. He said that the wages of our sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 that even looking at a woman with lust in your heart, gentlemen, is an abomination. It's no different than homosexuality in the eyes of God. Man, you're hearing me? The wrath of God abides upon you because you're a lawbreaker. It's a crime. It's a felony against God what you're doing. Repent from your sins, believe in the gospel, and come to Jesus Christ. Angels. How you doing? Oh. You've ever heard just saying. Okay, sir. God bless you. God bless the you. The word of God is God's yes, sir. Do, you have a permit? Do I have a permit? Yes. I don't need a permit, sir, and you are being audio recorded. I need do need to tell you that by law. I don't need a permit, sir, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're still living in America. I, I, I agree. Okay. So if I call the city, call the... What's your name? Jason. Jason, why do you want to call the city? Um, because you're bothering my customers. I'm, I'm bothering your customers? Well, sir, if you don't repent from your sins, you too will be cast into yeah, the lake of fire. I'm really worried about that. What I'm worried about is about you bothering my customers. But you are being audio and videotape recorded. You need to know that. That's, that's fine. Sir, do you understand that the Bible says right here that if you don't know God do right and if you don't obey the gospel of Jesus Christ, that vengeance will be upon you? It says they will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His might. And when He comes on that day to be glorified in His saints and to be marveled among all who have believed because our testimony to you was to believe because Christ has saved me, miss. Christ can save you, miss. Call out to the Lord Jesus Christ and, and put some clothes on. And don't cause these men to stumble. Jesus said it's better to put a millstone around your neck than cause other men to commit adultery in their heart. Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 that, that lusting in your heart for another woman is sin. It is an adultery. It's no different than homosexuality. It is an abomination unto the Lord what you're doing. You're leading people to the destruction of the place called hell. Jesus said that there is a way of salvation. That is the promise of God for those that seek Him, that give their lives to Him, that put their faith and trust in Him, that repent from their sins and believe in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you don't, you will spend an eternity in hell. That's the promise of God. Miss. You need to go to church. Miss. Practice what you preach. I do, ma'am. You've never seen me in this place before. I guarantee it. Ma'am, the Bible says that if, you're, if you practice these sins, you'll be thrown into the lake of fire. I'm here to warn you. And that goes for the bouncer, too. It's a gnashing of teeth, ma'am. You will suffer an eternal, eternal punishment for your wickedness. Come to Christ. Come to Christ. Please, miss, call out to the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. It says right here, ma'am, when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is commanding you to come to him. Come to the arms of Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords, and the King so of Kings. So that men can lust at you, so that men can drool at your body. The Bible says that the fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus said in Matthew 5, I tell you that if you've even looked at a woman with lust in your heart, you have committed adultery in the heart. It says in James chapter 2 that if we've broken one of God's commandments, then we're guilty of them all. And therefore, miss, and I say this with love because I care for your soul, I want you to go to heaven with the true bride of Christ. I want you to go to heaven with the church. I want you to go to heaven with those that are born again from above. There's hope in Jesus Christ, man. There's another job you can get. Call out to the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation and give your life to Jesus Christ. Jesus said those that are not written in the Lamb's book of life will be cast into the lake of fire, man.
Eternity is a very long time, and you don't want to get this wrong. The Bible says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father but through me. Jesus said, Assuredly I tell you that unless you are born again from above, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Ma'am, the Bible says in Revelation that Jesus Christ is coming back on a white horse. Jesus Christ is going to come back as a judge. And Jesus Christ will crush you if you have not repented and believed in the gospel and put your faith and trust in Christ, ma'am. That is so important, ma'am. I'm pleading to you to never forget the words that I'm saying to you. Forget about what I'm telling you to do, but don't forget the word of God. It does not go void, ma'am. And then another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books, according to what they had done. And the sea gave them up, the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them, and they were judged. Each one of them according to what they had done. And then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. Miss, you need to know, you, first of all, you need to know that you're being audio recorded and video recorded. Do you understand that? You understand that? Are you without sin? Uh, I, I'm not. I'm no longer sinful, but yes, I have sin in my life. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But the Bible says that when we become... First of all, you need to understand that you're being audio and video recorded. Do you understand that? you understand that? No, I'm not, ma'am. I'm preaching the gospel. This is America. We have a First Amendment right. Just, just like people in there have a First Amendment right to dance naked in front of men. I have a right to stand on the sidewalk and read the Holy Scriptures, miss. And then it says, Death and Hades gave up the life who were in them, and they were judged, each one of them according to what they had done. The then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death miss, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Miss. I, I go to church every, every week. What church do you go to? Pastor, know you do this? I bartend here. You bartend here? Yes, I do. You serve alcohol to people? Mm -hmm. Jesus said it's better to tie a millstone around your neck than cause people to stumble, ma'am. This is a place of lust and sin and drunkenness. It's, and the Bible says that the fornicators and the adulterers and the drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Ma'am, you may go to church, but you're not born again. Because if you were born again, you would learn to hate the things that God hates and love the things that and God loves. God Jesus said in Luke 13, 3, that you must repent, otherwise you will likewise perish. Jesus said, no, ma'am, I'm not a hypocrite because I don't hang out in these places. I used to before I came to Christ, but now I'm born again. He's given me a new life. I'm still a sinner, but I'm saved by the Savior. I'm no longer living as a life of sinfulness. You see the difference? You see the difference? Yes, it is, because we're commanded to go out and preach to all the creatures. We're commanded to go out in the streets and the highways and the byways and proclaim the good news, ma'am. No, actually that's not. Jesus said in John chapter 7 to judge righteously and he said to not judge hypocritically. And since I don't participate in this type of abomination against God, I'm not a hypocrite, ma'am. Please come to Christ. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And I'm an ordinary sinner, but I've been saved by an extraordinary Savior, ma'am. Jesus, the Lord, the Apostle Paul told the church in Corinth that those who go to those churches will not inherit the kingdom of God for practicing these things, ma'am. That's the word of God. That's a warning to you. He said you will not inherit the kingdom of God if you practice these things. I don't care if you go to Oasis Church or not. That's God's word. So please, folks, yes, please pray for me. I'd appreciate that. Pray that I remain steadfast in the faith and that I can continue to believe in the gospel and that I continue to repent from my sins. Folks, please, repent and come to Christ before it's too late. If you die today without Christ, you will perish in hell. But if you repent from your sins, believe in the gospel, and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, if He bestows His salvation upon you, you will be saved. Ask Him to bestow and grant repentance to you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. If I didn't love my neighbors, I wouldn't come out here and warn you about hell. If I didn't care for my neighbors, I would make you feel comfortable on your way to hell. Please, consider this message.